not, it's gonna get better, trust me. It is Tuesday. There is nothing special happening today, except the fact that I'm vlogging. So welcome. But this is just gonna be a day in the life. See what I get up to. There are some kind of out of the ordinary things taking place today. We'll see where the day takes us. It is breakfast time. I'm gonna make myself a lemon honey tea. Got my toast and that's a little triangle formation cooling down so I can put some butter on it and it won't melt because I don't like melted butter. Potentially an unpopular opinion, but it is what it is. It's 20 to eight. My job for the week in the flat, like my cleaning job is to clean the kitchen. I think I'm gonna do it this morning just to get it out of the way. So it's not gonna take me that long. Also the landlords are coming to stay tonight. The landlords are my parents. So I kind of want the house to be clean so that they, they think that we keep this place clean, you know? going to log in and do some work just for the morning I think. Um, I haven't got a heap on my to-do list today. I have a call this afternoon so I'll probably work for lunchtime, have a little break for lunch and then jump on for like another hour and then I'll be good for the day. Um, also to address the elephant in the room, I cannot tell you what this is just yet but it will be the video after this one. So if you're curious to know what is in the boxes, come back next week. I just heard the breaks so that was the most confusing thing of my life. I picked it up and I was like, I can't show you guys the front of it because I've just got my address on it. But I was like, who is this from? It's got my name on it. And then I see that it's from myself and I'm like, you're kidding. I've sent something to someone and I've put my address on it instead of theirs. No, it's just someone returning a dress that they borrowed from me. Hey guys, back in the kitchen. It is 11 o'clock and I'm on my morning tea break, but I actually got my work done at work. A lot quicker than I anticipated so I'm actually gonna take a prolonged break now until like 12 30 so I'll do like an hour of my own stuff have some lunch and then head back to my computer so that is the plan but I need to show you something if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen me raving about these crackers that I made I made them on Sunday they are just so good I have been wanting to make these for literally like five years maybe. My friend Shreya in high school, I was just saying in my story, used to bring crackers exactly like this to school that her mum would make for her and she kind of got sick of them. So when she got sick of them, she'd start giving them to me and then I'd eat them at lunchtime. And then her mum kept on giving them to her because she thought that she was still eating them. So it was great for me. And so I finally made some of my own. If I remember, I'll link the recipe down below, but it's sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, and it's all stuck together with flour, oats, oil, and a little bit of water, I think. Oh, and parmesan cheese, which is so good. It made three baking trays worth. That noise we can hear? That is the sound of my lunch in the microwave. It is 10 minutes past 12. So I have some lunch, leftovers from last night. It was like this teriyaki, veggie, udon noodle, stir fry thing from HelloFresh. Absolutely unreal. I need to jump on and do a bit more work for like an hour and a half, and then, I'm pretty much off for the afternoon and I have a little bit of admin stuff I need to do for myself. Oh, look at that. It's got toasted mixed sesame seeds and crispy shallots on top. It is 1.30 and I have just had a moment of realisation. It is week four of my five week holiday and I have not given myself a break. Like what the heck am I? So I'm giving myself the afternoon to chill out. Take a breath. If I don't give myself a break this whole holidays, I'm gonna head into the semester feeling like dirt. But I'm gonna plan out some content for EGS Apparel because I have been neglecting that one a little bit. See where the afternoon takes me, hopefully no further than the couch. I just dropped my camera on the ground for the second time today and I wonder why it's broken. I have successfully created eight posts. It's been like two hours. That's not bad, 25 minutes a post, 20 minutes a post. 15 minutes post, wow, math, there are not 100 minutes in an hour, Emma. I need to finish off my work day. I have a few community management things that I'm required to do at work before I can clock off for the day. I'm waiting for Taya to come. I'm, I've been home alone all day, if you haven't got that memo. Danny left this morning at like 9.30 to go back to Auckland. This morning, I completely skimmed over the fact that my parents are staying here tonight and the next night and the night after that. Um, so they're working in Hamilton for the next for, for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So they're gonna stay here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights, which means that I am kicked out of my room. It's funny, I um, posted a TikTok, and I can't remember what it was about now, and everyone was coming at me saying like, it's such a privilege to have your landlord, or your parents as your landlords. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. Like, I love having my parents as my landlords, it's great. And they're like, oh, look, it comes with so many benefits and so many advantages, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, cool, but 
does your landlord come and kick you out of your bed so that they can stay here and still charge you rent? I don't think so. It is quarter to five. Workday is finished. I've just had a look and Taya is like maybe 25 minutes away. Um, so while I'm waiting for her to arrive because I'm so bored like not having spoken to anyone like all day anyway i need to take my sheets off my bed and i'm sleeping in rachel's room tonight because she's not here well i'm sleeping in her room for the next three nights actually um take my sheets off put them on her bed and then when mum and dad get there they can put their sheets on my bed and stay in here rachel what the heck is this <laughs> Setting out your clothes the night before is just absolutely game changing. Also, can't forget the deodorant. Not sponsored, but this deodorant is next level. I made a switch to natural deodorant like just over two years ago now, and this one is by far my favourite. I've tried like just about every brand under the sun. This brand and this flavour is sound on lily flower and chamomile. Can't go past it. We've had dinner. It's just Taya and I here at the moment. Mum and Dad are going to be here like at 9.30 so I'll probably be in bed to be honest. But we're going to do a dash to the supermarket. It's currently 10 to 7. We had dinner so early. We also watched an episode of Big Brother. <laughs> Discover is something that doesn't exist or giving a monkey a shout. <laughs> oh, I smacked my hand running down the hallway. It doesn't exist. We are looking for dresses for Rachel's 21st while watching Finesse and Ferb. My parents have made themselves at home but it is time for bed it is 10 30. um dress shopping was successful i bought two from beginning boutique because they had two for 99 dollars. so very stoked about that yeah i don't actually know which one i'm gonna wear to rachel's 21st but i have options now and they're dresses that i like they're not restricted to the occasion like i can wear them whenever wherever kind of and then i also i bought a dress from ruby which was quite expensive but it was on sale i went she went into the shop and looked at it on saturday and was a little bit obsessed and when I saw it was actually on sale online, I bought it. Thank you guys for watching, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. I just dropped my camera on the ground. It's still working though.